Hello and welcome to the short board on Parshas Toldos. This is one of my favorite Parshas because the first Parsha when I began learning Chumash in second grade. I remember it was Perkhav Zayin Pasuk Aleph and I learned it both in English and in Yiddish. So in this week's Parsha we have that uh, Avram Avinu died and Yaakov was preparing a meal of beans as a sign of mourning for it. Esau came in from the fields and he was starving and he made a trade. He says, I want some of these beans. And Yaakov said, well, you have to give me the Bechorah, the, the, the rights of being the firstborn, which is spiritual. And Esau responds, Lama zeli Bechorah. Why do I need the this, the, for me, the Bechorah? So uh, Chazal explains that the Ze is referring to Hashem, Ze Keli Vambe is referring to Hashem, that basically he was kofar bi'ikar, that he was denying God. And the question that uh, Mishnah's Rev Aaron from Aaron Cutler uh, asks is firstly is, how could it be that someone who was raised in Avram's uh, presence, as well as by Yitzchak, could become a kofar in Hashem. How how could that be? You know, he's saw, seen all the miracles, things that are above Teva, things that are above nature. It just doesn't seem to make sense. And even more so, Rav Aranas, he says, later on, when he learns that he lost out the blessing of Yitzchak to Yaakov, that he cries out a cry that has never been heard before or after in the Torah. If he doesn't believe in Hashem, why does he worry about this bracha? So Rav Aaron answers, no, it is definitely that Esav believed in Hashem, very much so. Uh, and that's why he worried about losing the bracha. He knew that Hashem gave the power of blessing to Avram, which was passed down to Yitzchak, so he knew that he had a loss over there. So here he was someone who clearly he believed in Hashem. So much that when it says Zeh, Zeh Keli Vanveyu, or even on the Pesach, we always say Zeh uh, on, on the Korah, that pointing to something that we can see with our hands, with sensory, a full recognition. So it wasn't just that Esav was a believer, but he was a, a very strong uh, believer in Hashem. So the best way to answer this is that we have to redefine or better understand what it means by kofar bi'ikar. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that the person does is denying Hashem fully, but a person has the power of bechir. The person always has a choice. God makes a balance uh, that you don't know whether to go good or bad because the temptations seem equal. Even the person who's greater in righteousness, then his Yetzirah goes up in, in commensurate level. And that's why, you know, in Eretz Yisrael, you have people on the extreme, such holiness and such unholiness. Because if everyone was holy, and if you see rewards from Hashem right away for doing good, there'd be no choice, there'd be no battle. But there always has to be Bechira Chavshis. So how does someone who has a complete belief in Hashem, how does that person sin? So, once again, that's part of the power of Bechir Chavshis. The Satan is given the power to seduce even such a person by the temptations of physicality, the temptations of the different desires. Um, and to such respect, that person will be mafkir himself and be willing to give up all his eternity in favor of that sin if he makes the wrong choice. So, Asa was also feeling that way. Esav wanted to do, it's not that he didn't believe in Hashem, but he wanted to do all the things that he wanted to do. He did five different sins on the day of, uh, of the death of Avraham Avinu. So, you know, basically he's looking at it, he says the, uh, the, the Bechorah is something spiritual, I don't want that, so that's why he's Mavazit, but he does want the blessings that, that would come, and you know, finally, we we see a the kofar bi'ikar from a pasuk in Tehillim, which I'll summarize, just saying that it says that a person whose anger, 
Rabbi Baruch Huna Kol Akoyes Afilu Shechina Ena Shachashuva Knegdo. One who gets angry, the divine presence as if is it as if it's not there before him. It's not that he doesn't believe, but he can you know when you see someone with a crazy temper, they'll do things that you that are not rational. They'll say foolish things in in public in front of people that are authority or that they should be honored that they'd be embarrassed to do. But when they're angry, it's as if it doesn't happen. So the same thing when someone's in temptation. It could be kofor be'ikar. It's not that he doesn't believe in Hashem, but that he's mafkir himself to his temptations. May we be zochah to make the right choices. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful week and a wonderful Shabbos and a wonderful day.